What is up? It is Saturday, the 28th, maybe? 29th. I don't know. I can't remember. Um, we do have an issue. Um, everything is actually, let me, uh, let me spin you guys around. Everything is good. Engine wise and drivability wise, it's actually unbelievable. It drives so good. It, it, it's unbelievable. It, it drives so good. Smooth. Everything is great. I'm probably jinxing myself right now saying that, but it's it's the truth, and I feel like I have to share that. But there is one problem, and it's not so much as a bad problem, but there is one problem. Last night, left work, Friday night, pull out of... Where I work, hit the throttle. Boom, ba 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 goes through the gears, does everything. Um, I had the boost controller at 65-ish, 60 to 65%. It makes 15, 16 pounds of boost. Unbelievable. Felt great. Whatever. We get on the highway, I turn it back down to 35, 40%. And uh, continue on my way. Um... After the 10-mile ride, I get back into my town. I live in Enfield, Connecticut, so I get back into Enfield. Um, and it had cooled down considerably. Everything was good. Every, everything was good. The intake air temp was at uh, 103. And that's, that's unbelievable, by the way. Because it did get a little not, I wouldn't say chilly, but it cooled down. Um, I laid in a throttle. And it only made seven pounds of boost. So I'm like, okay, well, I have the boost controller down. That's that's just under, or just over, sorry, wastegate pressure. Wastegate pressure is six pounds. Five to six pounds, I should say. It's somewhere in that area, depending on, on uh, what it's got to load, what kind of load is on it. So I'm like, well, I'm, I'm here. I'm going to go. Take a ride through um, the Four Town area, which the the Four Town area is uh, Enfield, Summers, East Windsor, Ellington. It's like all four towns are all connected at four corners. Actually, at yeah, at four of the closest corners. Um, and it's a pretty cool ride, you know. So I I do that. So I'm like, you know what, I'm on. Uh, bare, you know, two lane road. It's just me. There's black and white cows on my right, and there's tobacco fields and corn fields on my left. So I am in the middle of nowhere. The banjos were playing. That's where I was. So I stop. I whip the boost controller up to, I don't know, 80% or so. That should be about 18 to 19 pounds. I hit the throttle. It makes seven pounds. Seven pounds. I'm like, okay, well, that's not good. Um, Something's going on. Did I blow an intercooler pipe off? Did I do that? I said, okay, well, let's continue to cruise. I turn the boost controller back down. I cruise around. Everything's all good. I get... On my way back home, I turn the boost controller to kill, which is 100%. That should be 22 to 23 pounds of boost. I hit the throttle, ring through the gears. It makes 7 pounds. Now I definitely know that something's wrong. Get back to my house. Get back to the uh, the little one bay shop here. Pull it in. Key it. Save the tune up in uh, in the holly in the laptop because uh, it's fantastic. 
transmission control is great shift all my shift points are great everything is great and I uh, I turn the ignition on and um, and I start turning the boost control the simple boost controller knob and I don't hear the Mac valve making any noise it should be going brrr, making a noise clicking so nobody home nothing there it's not doing anything so i don't know if i popped the fuse broke a wire if the simple dial -a boost has failed i don't know but this is just the the beginning tonight's is actually the end of today beginning of tomorrow's video so we have to get to the bottom of that because seven pounds of boost ain't cutting it it's not cutting it so um, if, if it's a broken wire, great. Or if it's a blown fuse, great. We will fix that and address it and get back to normal business. If the Mac, the, the Mac valve is bad, this, um, we're going to do a, uh, we're going to do a, uh, a stock GM PCM VAS versus sensor hack for you guys. So even though I'm not running a stock computer or whatever, I could still make it work. But for all of you guys that do have a stock set up using HP tuners and you don't want to spend the money on expensive Mac valves and everything, I'm going to show you a hack on how you can get around doing that with probably what you already have. So, a little exciting in a way, and I'm hoping that it's just a blown fuse or a broken wire. But I'm also hoping that it's it's not, so I can show you guys this hack. I just might show you the hack nonetheless, and um, and uh, it'll be fun. I think it'll be fun just to show you guys that. So. Um, yeah, it's been a long day. I got to work this morning at quarter to five on a Saturday morning. Um, I didn't get out of work until 5.30 tonight. Um, it is 9.30 now. I, uh, I went out for a little bit and, uh, went and met up with a couple of my buddies and, uh, did the usual bullshit session, but... Um, just doing a uh, like an update video, a startup video for tomorrow, and uh, and a wrap up video for today. So um, that's where I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna post this uh, tonight, so you guys got something to look forward to. Um, I'm also in the process. I'm gonna get a PO box um, because there's, I've had a few. Uh, few private messages through v, uh, Facebook and stuff that people want to uh, send me stickers or whatever for the hood or in, in, and banners for the shop and stuff so I am gonna I'm gonna get a PO box so you guys can send that stuff um, I think it'd be pretty cool um, and maybe even some stickers of your builds because I think that's even more cool if you have a sticker of your car or your build and I put it on this car. That's like, that's or this truck, I should say. Um, that's the best thing in the world. Um, I was going through some messages this earlier this week from uh, from YouTube, and um, I was actually able with one of my videos to save um, save a build. That these guys were fighting and art and fighting and fighting and fighting with, and they couldn't they couldn't get it to work. Um, and I saved their build in Los Angeles. That's over three thousand miles away, and I I live in Connecticut. These guys are in Los Angeles, and uh, they they found about found out about my video in the forum in some forum. I don't even know where that is and where they found it, but then they watched the video. And did what it did what I told them to do, 
and uh, it saved their build and that's that's awesome that that that's awesome but it was the um the 4L ADE standalone with no ECM uh video um and that's actually got a lot of uh a lot of hits um and that's that that's exciting that's exciting that's just a little bit of a little bit of work on my behalf and a little bit of research on my behalf and uh beater olds too he he was the one where where i uh actually got got hooked on that on making my version of that video so i gotta give him a shout out um because it's actually mostly him you know but um everything is good uh don't forget to like comment and subscribe please um any uh any questions or anything leave them in the comments below um it's been a long day i'm gonna go in and take a shower i already ate oh my god did i eat I had the worst food ever. Box macaroni and cheese and bacon bits. Oh my God. So good. But anyway, I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Have a good night.